All right, so today I'm going to teach you how to take a photograph and create a color palette um, in Illustrator from it. And you can see a couple that I've created here in these folders. So what you're going to want to do is start with a photograph. So here I have uh, um, something by Alvin Lustig. And I'm just going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it into uh, Illustrator. Now the next thing I'm going to do is do an image trace. And if I go to Object, Image Trace Make, over here on the right, unless you're using the older version, which would be on the top, you'll see it's kind of small, but under Image Trace it has a preset. Set that to try three colors. Depending on the um, complexity of the picture, this can take a while. So these are the three colors that it gave me, and if I look at his work, you'll notice there's much more than three. There's closer to six. So I'm going to set this now to six colors, and you just decide however many colors you want to get from it. And now it's going to uh, have to re-render. And what it's actually doing is it's taking this rasterized image uh, made up of pixels, and it's converting it to vector shapes. So now we can see that it's it's pretty much got all the colors that we need. So I'm going to um, now click expand, and that's just going to kind of finalize it. And now in my swatch library, which you can find under Windows Swatches, I'm just going to create a new folder. And if I want to, I could call this uh, Alvin Lustig. Just put Lustig. And then um, if you check these things, it, I don't know what they all mean, but it seems to work for me. There you go. So down at the bottom here, there's my palette. Um, and if you want to, you can erase that. But now, if I wanted to create something similar, I could, you know, start with something like this, and then I have these darker colors thrown in, so I could, uh, oops, create a new rectangle, make it this color. And there you go. I think that's about it. So let's do it one more time. I'm going to go a little faster this time, and this time we're going to uh, use Neville Brody these nice bright vivid colors and I'm gonna copy it paste it into Illustrator Oops. and this time um, when we do our object image trace make we're gonna need to probably pick something with a lot of colors so I'm gonna go with 16 colors this time and that should give me there's probably maybe more than 16, but that should give me um, pretty close to what I need for my palette. If you wanted to go more, you could. It's taken a while to render, which is understandable. Uh, yeah, you could go uh, all the way up to like low fidelity photo and give you even more colors, but I'm going to say that's fine. I'm going to click expand, and now I'm going to create a new color group, and from this I'm going to say, um, well, Neville Brody. And now that I look at this, it looks like this was not created by Neville Brody. Um, this is like about him, but same thing, close enough, whatever. We're going to go with it. So now you have your uh, Neville Brody um, color group and your Lustig color group. So if you wanted to make a design that was very similar, <laughs> that would be a great way to get started. So there you can see the colors uh, match those vivid colors on black that he has in his composition. Now this this is cool if you want to like steal some style, you know, you're going for something like that. But if you want to be a little bit more original, this would also work for um, all sorts of things. So you wanted to get like a, a nature one, you can get like an autumn, I don't know, meadow. And then let's say that you really like these colors or these colors or whatever it is. You could take that photo and create a color palette from it, doing the exact same thing. Oops. Copy that image. And um, if you just try to go straight to here, it does not work. It won't create any colors. So you, that's why you have to do the object image trace first. 